you were born in Kenya. Yes. And you pretty much grew up in Uganda. Yes, I did. And you have spent most of really of your youth, your adulthood, in the United States of America. Yes. So how do you remain connected with the continent? Um, so ever since I moved here, I've always been interested in what is going on in the continent. My family still lives in Uganda. Mm -hmm. So I do have the, the privilege of visiting them and um, you know, staying in touch with what's going on in, on ground. I'm still African at heart. I very much, I very much so have rooted in that. And what, what initially really inspired you to get involved in what you are doing right now? So I actually uh, had, was fortunate enough to work on an internship with the UN mm -hmm. in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And I got to um, visit a rural area in Uganda that was lacking electricity. And just looking at the, the struggles there in the health system, um, where it's facing in terms of facing um, challenges with renewable energy or energy um, scarcity in health clinics. To me, that was um, really a trigger to say to myself, how can I help? What can I do? So then I was fortunate enough to um, finish my master's degree at Columbia University, mm -hmm. where I focused on sustainability management uh, with a focus on renewable energy. So that for me was the pivoting point um, in my career to really find solutions um, in rural um, areas. So we're talking about uh, an Ivy League graduate here uh, who somehow um, would like to make a difference for to ordinary people. Absolutely. Where specifically did you do your internship in Uganda? In Ruhira, in Isinjiro district in the uh -huh. western part of Uganda. Very interesting. Yes. 